Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I haven't uploaded for a while, mainly because I've been moving house. Wait, real quick, um, we are settings. Now, there are, I turned Biome Blend off, and my thingy runs a lot faster now. One time it even hit, like, um, 42 FPS. That's a lot of FPS. Now, I don't know what I made the title of this video, but it's probably going to be something along the lines of how to become a block in Minecraft. No mods or plugins. So, that's probably what you came here for. Now, the first thing you want to go and get is the redstone torch. And then, slash give at p c o m m a n d that's an f d underscore b l o c k and that's going to give you a command block when you press enter now in bedrock edition to become a block you do something along the lines of slash ex execute um like at p um tilde 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 um so uh someone uh falling sand and then and then you would put in whatever whatever your username is or at p um, but we're in Java edition, so you have to, so it's slightly more complicated. You have to do it as, at P, run, Um. now what you want to gonna do is find summon, or just type in summon and then click on it. And then, falling sand. Then make this a repeating command block. Oops. Uh, you're going to want to do three tildes, actually. Execute as at P, run, summon... Um, uh oh, I think this only works in Bedrock Edition. And then you give yourself invisibility, but I think it's broken. Run. Hmm. Um. And then you do like slash effect give instead of one uh, invisibility. And I was just hit it. I was just eating a cookie just before this. So um. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot, this only lasts for a limited amount of time, so if you want it to go on for forever until you drink milk, um, you do slash effect give, like, username, then you do invisibility. But, here's the catch, you if you do 999999, it goes on forever. And to get the max, and the maximum level of everything is 255. So now, I have invisibility forever. Well, you clicked on this video to either become a block or watch me fail to become a block. So, um, let's do some other commands. Oops, I mean, um, there are multiple ways to do this. Uh, slash clear static one 
gold. Black. Oh yeah, and this is going to be on repeat. Oh yeah. Okay, so basically, you're also going to want to do slash game rule. Oh, sorry, game rule. Um. Now where is it? Um. Uh, okay, so what I was um, going to do, what, but there are so many more things you can do with this. F you can disable fall damage and fire damage. Wow. But what, I'll, what I'm going to do is command block output. Now if you put it onto false, now, uh, now that means that you see all those, those won't happen anymore. So I think this might work. So what you do is, whoops, you do this. Now you can do whatever you like. This will be a and um, what you call it chain, yeah, chain. Oops. Okay, so this won't work though. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the exact same command. So we're going to do clear. You could, you don't have to do the slash by the way. Clear um gold block. You might be wondering what I'm doing. Wait. I don't know how to do this, but then you see if a command block um, can successfully do a command. Oops. Uh, what you call it? Also, you'll have to put the same thing in here because this is a solid block and this is a solid block. This will power the, this. Now, basically, if a command block can run a successful thing, it'll go to wherever the arrow is pointing and make that do it so you're going to want to do the same thing wait i need to check uh something real quick so uh hmm. wait does this work um, okay. yes it does so you'll have to make this Slash clear and go lock. Yeah, and make this a solid block. Oops. Oh, wait, whoops. <laughs> Now you can do whatever you like here. Uh, maybe I don't know. Uh, give uh, the diamonds ten, and then I'm not sure if this works. Now.
Okay, so this went wrong. I think this doesn't work. Whoops, that went completely wrong. Well, now you got infinite diamonds. <sighs> Wait, I just remembered. Wait, no, this is uncon- this is conditional. Okay, that's what I got wrong, probably. You might be wondering why it says 909 attack speed. Well, I just I just did slash add, um, I just did an attribute command, uh, slash attribute at p blah blah. Um, but basically, um, it just makes my attack speed go up. Now, if I were to magically get a gold block, or, wait, 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 set block, here, gold block. Now, if I were to mine this, I prefer diamond, it was the original. Okay. Slash game mode. Survival. Now if I. Eh. Wow! It gave me 10 diamonds! And basically, what you would do to extend this is you would just make this line longer and continue this kind of pattern. And if you want to do multiple commands, you. Um, like, uh, more chain blocks. Oh, wait, I can't do that because I'm in survival. Woohoo! So if I, um, gave, give, um, myself a gold block, what happens is, the reason it gives me 20 diamonds instead when I pick it up is because what it's basically doing is, um, what you call it? Every time this block gets powered, it powers this command block. And when this command block is able to do it, this will also be activated, which will cause, uh, what you call it, whatever command is in here to activate. Oh, wait, that. Okay, so I just realized um, a mistake I made slash give static one red. Red. Down two. Now, if I give myself a lever, give lever. That's why it wasn't working.
See, now it's not giving me diamonds every few seconds. But if I do give gold lock, yep, it gives me 30 diamonds. Okay. Now, if you want to do multiple thingies, so it's like a lucky block, which I forgot to mention that I'm trying to make a lucky block, what you do is you would just, uh, what you call it? put another M repeater here, another repeater here, and copy that there, and then put a different command here. But this would always have to remain as slash clear pico block, or whatever block you want to be lucky blocks. In fact, if you just did wood, that would mean whenever you break trees, you get random things. You can do this for whatever. You, you got some friends... Uh, that you want to like trick into thinking that you have mods installed because I I know some someone that loves mods uh, and then that'll uh, that'll be good but uh yeah actually now that I think about it I'll probably make the title of this video how to make lucky block in Java this also works in bedrock that also works in bedrock but i'm going to do it as java because i know it works in java there now uh this is a world where i just make a bunch of random stuff and there was a short amount of time where if you were up against the barrier you could squeeze these two blocks together also um I tried to make like an end tree and I tried to make a structure that was like like tentacles coming out of darkness but in reality it's just like a little cave which when in the dark it would lead you to this and it gave you a netherite sword with sharpness like a billion <laughs> oh yeah also um this is just my world where I mess around with commands and stuff. Oh, hey there, horsey. I was messing around with giving horses speed. <laughs> and, um, oh yeah, if you are here for the um, for the uh, mysterious mobs or whatever it was called episode, you'd know what, cr what why this creature is here. Let's just say I got a really, like, strong creeper. <laughs> Very strong. I was using this website called Mine, um, Minecraft Tool, um, Minecraft Tool something or, or something. I uh, don't know. And it gives you a bunch of options. It helps you with commands and stuff like that. Which is how I got these mobs, because I don't actually know the specific commands for them, so I just copy-paste them in. Also, this is my first attempt at a realistic tree, and I think it went quite good. Like, I made roots. I like it a lot. But there are a few exposed pieces. But those are mostly just for artistic reason. And it's also a treehouse. Also, have you ever noticed how this color door blends in with the oak, but the oak door doesn't? Which is strange, but meh, who cares. This was supposed to be the tree of life. And it gave you a golden sword. Like, life. Get it? Because gold represents yellow, and ye yellow represents happy. This was also for the chest plates. Oh yeah, um, this is when I started messing around with attributes on swords. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, much stronger than these two. But these two are shiny, so I like them. But these give you speed. Oh yeah, I was making a laboratory. Oh yeah, I also have the infinity rooms. Also, you know, you know how to make an infinity room, where it looks like even if you click W, you listen, I'm clicking W, it looks like I'm moving. Wait, where did I go? Oh 
Oh yeah, I have to look for the cobblestone. Um, I use the slash fill command because, um, what should we call it? Uh, most people would use plugins and stuff like that or custom maps, but I just used slash fill and filled in this entire area, which is why you're seeing mobs over there. Oh gosh. Oi. Oh yeah, I forgot. Do you know how to disable that annoying noise that's slightly creepy that Enderman make when killed? And also how to disable cave sounds and stuff like that? Well, if you go into, where is it, music and sounds, you'll see that I have ambient and environment turned off. And the reason that is, is because, uh, what you call it, that is what the cave sounds are. Oh yeah, also, this, this was a broken infinity room, but I fixed it. Like, eh, there. Ouch. Oh yeah, this is the other sword. Um, also, this was my mob trap. Uh, I would put mobs in there. I tried to make like a little... I tried to make um, a laboratory. This is my test subject. Also, at some point he had a glitched fence and that fence was acting like this fence but didn't have that fence there. This is test subject M1A, um, this is test subject 1B2, because the original was killed by A. Where did he go? This was test subject B. This is 22 minutes long. Okay, um... that noise also I just destroyed my wiring what that was was it was a test tube that required two people to do it now I'm working on the second floor and basically you'd open the hatch up there put a mob inside it then you'd switch it to magma block and to pull it down then they would close it then you'd switch it to soul sand and it would be hovering in this test tube Oh yeah, that's all oh, the racket. I tried to see um what you call it, because if a mob um doesn't see a block underneath it, um it do it won't move. So I thought that if I made a piston that was moving really fast, that um that wouldn't let the water, um the water would keep it from going down before the piston rose again. Um, and I would see if it would think that the block underneath it is air and wouldn't move. But nope, it, just, it still moves. Now what I'm, I'm planning on doing is, uh, wait, slash, game mode, creative. Now, what I'm planning on doing is, uh, like, making a second floor to this. Uh, 
And, uh, what should we call it? Look, see the soul sand? Huh, it doesn't seem to be making bubbles. Does it switch though? I'll switch these to sticky pistons. Oops. So that would suck in the mob and then you would switch it again like this. So you'd suck it in with the magma block and then you'd um what you call it? Put and um, push it up into the test tube itself with the uh, soil sand. Okay, there. I was just filling up the test tube. Oh no! What happened? This was supposed to feed my test subjects, but never mind. Uh, in case you're wondering what I was testing, I was testing if they could see through fences and stuff like that. Let's just say that when I tested it, he hit through the fence. Here. Test subject. Eh, I can't feed you. Why can't I? Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, I have a what this like big box in the middle was it was the total lockdown switch everything um you aren't allowed access to anything everything is shut down and you can't get out and it doesn't get yeah and you can't get in there because it's just yeah what i'm planning on doing next is have uh what do we call it this the uh, test subjects like drop down and uh, possibly even like um what you call it like the soul sand will get like switched out and switched back in uh, no no i have an even better idea tnt explodes the test tube letting out whatever's inside it no that would damage it In case you're wondering what I mean is, like, if someone ever came in um, or stole something, you'd run into the total lockdown switch, flip it, or wait, flip the total lockdown switch, and it would lock everything up. By the way, it locks out the outside. It, this isn't just a porch, it's also a lockdown, a part of the lockdown. And what I was thinking was, if this exploded, because I'm planning on keeping zombies and skeletons and stuff like that in here, but I, I think my zombie might have despawned because when, uh, what you gonna call it, it changes into a drown, maybe it loses its name tag, so when you log off, it just, yeah, so maybe only skeletons go in here. And then it would explode, letting out the skeleton. Yeah, I have a lot of plans for this place, but that brings us to an end, I think. There's one more thing I need to show off. I've been practicing my building skills. Oh yeah, you also have this. A failed note block thing. Yeah, it's, it's comp it, it is, it isn't that good. This is also um slow horse, cause he's slow. And he can't jump high. But hey, who cares? Also, that was my triple tree. And um, this is my attempt at building like a monster or something that pukes out lava. That's what I jumped off for. To, um, what you call What was this again? 
Oh yeah, I tried to push together like two slabs to see, and then I put like a half slab and a full block. I'm like, okay, which will be that or that? Oh yeah, that's also my chicken crate. Uh, this is where I keep my chicken. You might be wondering why he's glowing. Um, well, basically, uh, I don't know, but I made a massive hole that goes down through bedrock. And basically, I put a chicken on a leash, then I hung it underneath the bedrock, and, and I couldn't see it. Um, so what I did is I gave it glowing, and I did slash effect at E type equals chicken, and closing bracket, and then... Op I mean opening bracket and closing bracket and oh oh yeah this is my uh, br um this is my non-hostile zoglin this is what it came from oh wait um I think I broke this one it wouldn't attack me when I was in survival but these were my custom zoglins that could take a lot of damage this wasn't on camera though yeah they can take a lot of damage and this was my carpet house a house made of carpet. How do I get the overhangs? Simple string. Uh, and oh yeah, um, skeleton, uh, spider jockey, whatever you want to call it. Uh, where is it? Is that it? No. Yeah, this concludes this very long, long video. Also, I've hit like 19 subscribers or something, I think. I, I, I'm not sure. We're getting so close to 20. Ah, wait. By the way, I was using F1. Okay. Oh yeah, this is my attempt at one that would look cooler. Oh, by the way, these create a lot of lag. You'd only do this like Oh no, my chicken farm. Oh my gosh, it has been working. So good. Wait, I remember now. Um, I, when I was constructing it, uh, a few chickens escaped. What I would do is I would put a chicken and then when it grew up it would burn in the lava and it would go through this hover system. And it's infinite. It's infinite. Oh yeah, this is my attempt at a uh, redstone door tutorial. Did I upload that? I can't remember if I uploaded that. Well, in case I didn't upload that, um, this is what it looks like. It goes under here, it comes up around up here like that. And that's it. Uh, this is my cage. What I did was I pushed glass blocks on to mobs and kept them in here. But uh, they always ended up escaping. Oh wow, this is a long video. Also, that is like the only grass in the world.
so you'd have to spread grass in there. But if too many sheep ever got out, well, Hey, if you like cake or if you like cookies, um, leave a like or subscribe. Because in case you don't know, in order, most people find YouTubers they like through recommended, which is controlled by an algorithm. But basically, if this video got a lot of likes, there's a chance that someone would just find it, someone else would subscribe, and yeah. Awesome. Um, last time I checked, my most viewed video got 40 views, and that is a lot. Oh yeah, also, here's how to make um, cake ladders. Whoops. Uh, yeah, so you put one on top. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Was that four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. Wait, one last stage. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is Cake Ladder. Where are you, horsey? Thank you. You ate some grass, so now you get to go on the Cake Ladder. Oh wait, he's slow horse. Oh wait, this is the ho this is the cake road. Okay, wow, I just placed cake everywhere. Now this e concludes this long video. I've been making a lot of um, s'more videos. I haven't made a Minecraft video in a while, mainly because I moved house all this stuff. Leave a like and subscribe and stay shocking. Wow, it still sounds cringy. <laughs>